This week, episode 251 of Stogie Geeks, we interview Haim Cohn of Cigar Oasis. And we're going to be talking about these remarkable products that they produce and also some new products with Cigar Oasis. I'm here uh, hosting the show, Joe Hozempa, with my co-host for today, Joe D., and uh, the, the second section where we are going to do is the holidays are coming up, and I want to talk a lot about leather cigar cases because I think I'm going shopping for one. Uh, I'm learning how to shop online, so it's a whole different world for us here. And we're going to talk about uh, le uh, cigar leather cases and journals and the stogies of the week. I have some good ones, and I have some not-so-good ones. So stay tuned all here on the Stogie Geek Show. This is a Security Weekly production. A hat tip, can we play it? Yeah, one more time. Can I hear a... Yes! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the dirt. Guests and friends here in studio, oh, including a regular cast of characters, Mr. Joe Hollywood to my right. Who's oh, that? That's awesome. <laughs> Joe D's here. Rain Man's here. <laughs> What's going on, I Joe D? Table discussions. Havana Cigar Club, located in Warwick, Rhode Island, is a great place to enjoy a drink and a cigar. Stogie Geeks listeners can find a $5 off coupon on our website by clicking the HCC logo. Welcome to the Stogie Geek. Geek Show, episode 251. Today we interview Haim Cohn from Cigar Oasis. We are talking about these products. What's going on over there? Haim, how are you, sir? Great. Thanks so much for having me, Joe. Yeah, thanks for coming in. I got my co-host this week. I'm sitting in the hot seat yeah. two weeks in a row. <laughs> the pirate flag has been waved. I'm raiding Paul's humidor. He has been warned. That's just the way it goes. Joe D's here. And we are interviewing Haim for the first segment uh, segment of the show. And then uh, we're going to talk about Cigar Leather Cases and, of course, the Sticks of the Week. So without further ado, Cigar Oasis. I keep covering the logo, right? <laughs> right? Cigar Oasis is a, a company that makes humidification devices. And Haim, please correct me if I'm wrong, for both commercial and residential uh, cigar enthusiasts. Is that correct? That is correct, yeah. So a little background on the company. The one you're holding is the Cigar Oasis XL, which is the original uh, design. Uh, and it's obviously been updated a lot since uh, the product's inception 20 years ago. But basically, it was uh, conceived uh, to be the first, the original uh, sealed automatic humidification solution for consumer size humidors. But since then... We've um, progressed uh, to four different models, and we have one which is the Magna that is used primarily in commercial size cabinet humidors by retailers, also like man cave cabinet humidors at home. So they range uh, servicing any kind of humidor from like a 50 count desktop up to the big cabinets and uh, all types in between. Awesome. So this is the original device, right? This one, you can see me? Yeah. Okay, so this is the, the original, original yeah. This is the original device. Take us through this because it comes in, it, 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 it comes in a small box, uh, it, it, it plugs in, it has, a, and, and please help me with the technical uh, power there. It plugs in here on the side. It's got a strip there so it can go sneak through, say, the back of a humidor and stuff like that. It can sneak through a door crack and stuff like that. Well, what is that called, like a thin band for, for it's a ribbing the, cable ribbing. yeah okay it's perfect like yep. one right here yep perfect yeah. right so this will snake through yep. so you know i remember when i was you know just a cigar consumer before i joined cigar oasis uh, six years ago and i remember going to jr at, at that point they had they still had a shop on on fifth avenue in manhattan and you know it was a couple times that i was setting up a humidor and i remember looking at what they had available and um, I ended up replacing a lot of these passive devices for humidification. At first, it was the, you know, the puck that was included with the humidor, and then uh, some beads and gels, and I got a hygrometer, and I got the 50/50 uh, solution and whatnot. And then I I always saw the cigar oasis on the shelf or in the box, but I didn't quite know what it was. And it wasn't until I upgraded to a larger humidor that I really felt the need that this stuff really wasn't working. And it was a couple of times where I kept getting frustrated and eventually I stopped storing cigars at home uh, and just bought, you know, when I went out and I, um, and 
then when I got that uh, larger humidor and I desperately needed something, I went out and I started asking questions about how it works and I got familiar with it. It was just something that I saw around before then. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes the good stuff takes a little bit more in education, but then, you know, once you get it, you're a lot richer for it. Right. That's definitely the case with the Cigar Oasis. So it's a little, you know, it, it takes up about the space of uh, eight cigars in your humidor. And this is just the XL model, I should be clear. But what's amazing about this, and I'll talk about some of the features, but just from the get-go, you will not have to worry about the condition uh, humidity-wise of your humidor for anywhere from four to six months with this device, assuming you're using an appropriate size humidor. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't just mean you won't have to worry about refilling. That means that you'll get consistent levels of humidity, which consistency is so important. So basically what you have here on the XL is... It's a large cartridge inside. Uh, it contains a foam element that is pre-treated with an antifungal agent. And we use that just to hold the water in place so that way there's no loose water. It comes pre-filled uh, with distilled water and then you refill it as is necessary and you replace it about once every year or so. And they're really cheap uh, to just replace the whole cartridge, about 15 bucks. And but again, it comes pre-filled. You pop on the top, it comes pre-set. You plug it into the wall with like a USB cable uh, regular charger uh, plug, which plugs into the ribbon cable. And this ribbon cable will snake in between the side of the humidor or on the back with the hinges. Mm -hmm. And um, so I remember when I first bought mine, I was concerned and I would have to like borrow a drill and start <laughs> drilling holes and caulking it and whatnot. And then I got this ribbon cable mm -hmm. and it made life really simple. So that's kind of the idea. This is the kind of ribbon cable. If you open up a DVD player or something like that, you'll see that on the inside, but we use it for this purpose. It works really well. And, uh, it, there is a battery option as well, but it really functions much better on power. And regardless of where you have it, um, you can, you know, find power somewhere available and you can get a longer ribbon if necessary, up to 30 inches long. The LCD display will read the current humidity. You can reset the humidity level from anywhere you like from as low as 40 up to 90, depending, you know, for seasoning purposes or whatnot, but it comes preset to 70. The fan will go on, release the humidity from the cartridge as is necessary until it reaches the desired set point and then it will turn off. So you never get too much humidification and you get exactly what you're looking for. It reads temperature in addition to humidity. It'll give you the averages over three days, the lowest and highest points over three days. And that's just the functioning of the base level of the humidifier. And then we also have the Wi-Fi, which I'll get into. But that's basically the function of the unit. Now, I, the XL is still our best seller because it covers the largest gamut uh, of humidor. So anything from 75 count, technically this can service, uh, up to a 300 uh, cigar count humidor. And then we have our Ultra model, which will do a smaller desktop if you want something sleeker, doesn't take up much room. The uh, downside is you have a smaller cartridge, which mm -hmm. will, you'll be refilling about every six weeks. But of course, it uh, doesn't take up as much room and it's lid mounted. So it's got a strong magnet you mounted on the top of the humidor, so it's not taking up any room on the bottom. But basically, the function is the same, except that this has a built in uh, battery that lasts about two weeks on battery. And then you plug in the ribbon to recharge. We and, then have the plus model. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the battery operated model, it still has the uh, same LCD display functions, right? The 3A yeah. and okay. So, so it does stay yeah. consistent with that. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the plus model we designed, it, it, it is the same size as the XL, but it's designed differently. It's got the larger hole and two on the back. So it will release about five times as much humidity as the XL. Mm-hmm. Um, so this can do an end table humidor up to a uh, thousand cigars or 10 cubic feet. <clears throat> uh, and this pushes the air upward. So you'll be refilling the cartridge a bit more often, but you definitely get more bang for your buck in terms of, uh, space that it can control. Absolutely. Now, um, when the consumer gets it, do they have to worry about calibration when it first comes in? Cause I know sometimes, uh, some, some devices can, can be kind of finicky with that. Right. So yeah, the, these are all tested twice at the factory. They have humidity chambers, and they're all they're all pre-calibrated out of the box. We generally find within you know a, a minimum, the uh, um, maximum I should say, four percent uh, accuracy. So mm -hmm. they're good out of the box. 
and they can always be recalibrated down the line if it ever gets off uh, plus or minus 9% on the Cigar Oasis units, yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, take us through the, the, the three-day functionality right before we get into the Wi-Fi. So it gives you the, the last three days of, the, of what the current uh, humidity it'll was? Give you, it'll give you the last three days what the average humidity over the course of three days as well as what the highest registered humidity point and the lowest. Mm -hmm. So say if you open the humidor, it's constantly, the sensor is constantly activated, so it will register whatever the humidity is as soon as you open the humidor. So if it's like 25%, so you'll just see that um, as well as the highest point. That's actually a very good function uh, uh, there that, that you included. And, and the reason being is, you know, even if you were going to use it for personal use, uh, if you're in and out of your humidor constantly or if you're, say, changing stock and stuff like that, um, all of those are factors. So for you to know the last three days, I, th I think that's a very positive sure. aspect. Sure, lots of those changes. You know? Absolutely. And I'm happy you mentioned that. You know, there are some other, you know, competitive products out there that don't have fan or circulation. And what that means is, is that as good as it can ever get, it's limited to what the recoup, you know, time is. So every time you go into the humidor, and if you're like me, you're going in a few times a day just to, take a look at your treasured stogies or just to play around and maybe to put one in, take one out. And, you know, every time you open that humidor, you're losing that humidity, especially in the winter time, if you're in a dry place and with the stuff that don't have circulation, even if they're two way, you can take maybe six, eight hours to recoup that desired humidity. Mm -hmm. So every time you go in, you're kind of losing that. Whereas with the cigar oasis, you open and close it, and within 30 seconds, you're back to your humidity because it's got the built-in fan. It's mm -hmm. turn around. No, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. I, I know from from owning a retail shop in the past and being in the industry for 18 plus years, it's it's the two biggest problems um, of the consumer is uh, cigar humidification, either on the personal level. Uh, even on a uh, commercial level, right. uh, cigar humidification and <clears throat> and l uh, lighters, <laughs> you know. So so at least you you accomplish uh, one of the two biggest uh, troubles there. So these these are meant for uh, personal consumption. Those are for personal use. Yep. Yeah, any humidor about a hundred to three hundred count. Yep. So and again, if someone's concerned that that's taking up too much space, there's like a misconception out there that these are like only for, you know, really large storage. You know, it's not uh, the case. You can really be using this even in your like starter, 50 count, 75 count desktop humidor with the Ultra model, right. which is a great seller, a great gift uh, for the holidays if you're thinking of something for a cigar lover, who's you know smoking more and wants to protect their collection. This, the ultra is a great option. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a good investment, and in, uh, you know you you've taken it all, not only with with the three day functionality that that we spoke about, but you've actually taken it to another level with this Wi Fi component. That when when you and I were speaking uh, over the phone and over the internet, I'm I'm fascinated at how you uh, about how you, you you're gonna tell us all about that too, how it can hook up yeah. to your Wi Fi and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I don't have it right here, but it's just a little piece and it mounts to the side of the humidor. Okay. And then it, it, it plugs into the ribbon on the one end and the other ribbon goes, the other end of the ribbon goes into the unit mm -hmm. and you set it up like you would a wireless printer or something of the kind. And then once you set it up, I'm just going to go show you the app on my phone. Once awesome. you set it up, it should take about yep. 10 minutes uh, <clears throat> to set up. And then once you're in, you... You will um, remote monitoring, sure, monitoring. Yeah, you're on vacation, wherever you are. Well, I mean, it, 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 it's taking your your humidification solution to to a whole nother level. Next level. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. So if you want to make an investment, and we'll get into that where they can purchase it and all yeah. of that stuff later on with an interview. But yeah, it's it, it's taking it to the next level, Joe. It's awesome. Yeah. So it's going to update once an hour with a complete reading of the humidity, the averages, everything that's going to be on the screen. Of the um, of the cigar oasis humidifier will come onto the Wi-Fi, uh, and it will also give you alerts if you're low on water. So if it doesn't reach within five, uh, within three percent of the set point, within three hours, um, it's going to give you an alert. 
Mm -hmm. And uh, they can get that by text or through the um, you know, email. So here I got multiple humidors. Can you so go a little bit closer? And... Slow, slow. I got uh -huh. it. Yep, perfect. perfect. Put your phone up just so a scotch. There you go. Humidors. Yep, I see. Oh, so and every humidor have... would 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 be a uh, square, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So I got a couple here. Mm -hmm. You see one coming up in red because it didn't reach. Uh, the set point within a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. um, this is one I have running right here next to me in the office, but I can actually. Oh, the other side. Go to, yep, there you go. Yeah. No, 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 the other way. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah. 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 I can actually adjust the set point. So you can. You, you... Uh, for humidity. <laughs> it's awesome. Wild. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I got um, up to 18 months worth of history with these charts. Mm hmm. So I'm not going to keep showing you. It's not going. But yeah, but up to 18 months of history, I got full humidity and temperature history. Um, and then I can I can see the hourly reports. I can if I want to put someone else as a point of contact. Say if uh, I'm not the one actually controlling the humidor, but I want someone else to be alerted. But I want to be able to monitor. I can add multiple contacts for alerts. And um, we've updated quite a few times. The last time I was on the show, uh, almost three years ago. This has since been updated quite a bit, and uh, the functionality is great. A lot of people are using it. It's selling a lot more uh, than we expected. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this Wi-Fi component is available on all of those three models that we previously discussed, correct? Through all, all four models, the three oh, that we discussed, as yep. well as the Magna that goes in the cabinet, yeah. Yep, so I'm assuming and that it's, it's available on your commercial lines, too. Yep. Yep. Okay. And we'll get into the commercial humidification too, because believe it or not, there are a lot of retail cigar shop owners who do watch the show. So I'm I'm sure they're gonna want to hear about some of the products Absolutely. that that are available for the uh, commercial side. You know. So if you want to take your cigars in your cigar collection to the next level, where can they purchase this? And or where can they get some more information? If you want to direct them to your website or. Where, where yeah, get some uh, for information, definitely check out CigarOasis.com, our Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you're looking to buy it, we definitely first recommend that you go to your local bricks and mortar cigar shop, and they definitely need the support. Quite a number of them carry them. Um, if they don't have it, you know, go to your uh, ask them. Ask them <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> yeah. Proactive, for sure. Right, absolutely. So, so, but otherwise, it's available from all the you know all the cigar online retailers and mail order catalogs. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Um, Joe, do you have any question? I just want to update the uh, the listeners. Yeah, you're you're on uh, episode one thirty three three years ago, and uh, came on board with the company in uh, two thousand thirteen, and Cigar Waste has kicked off in uh, ninety seven. That's uh, is that that's correct? right. Okay, yeah, just uh, yeah. So. How did you get involved in, in, in the cigar business? What did you do before? I was selling uh, office equipment, uh, oh, okay. leasing, uh, you know, uh, office uh, com copy machines and whatnot in New York City. Oh, I did that. But I would do a lot of my work out of, out of uh, c cigar lounges in Manhattan, mm. and um, I was really enjoying. Uh, it just became more from the habit, the lifestyle, and I was thinking one day, you know, if I can – possibly find work in this industry and started looking around and eventually I met uh, Al and Donna, um, and great people, a family owned business that started from the ground up with just one product and has become a staple in the industry and they've been uh, great people to work with. So it's uh, five years now. Yeah. Nice. My story is very similar. I was uh, working for the Xerox Corporation copy machine company oh. and then, you know, spent a lot of times over in, in, in Cigarville either catching up on work or prospecting and stuff like that and just, you know, just kind of got into the, the, the networking. And then uh, I was like, wow, I really want to own a cigar shop. I think I'm going to do that. Opened one up uh, over, over in Providence, Rhode Island, and, and then still continued with the Xerox and stuff like that and did both. And, uh -huh. you know, it, it, went, it went pretty well, you know. And, and so it, it, it's funny how we have a similar passion, especially on the, the leasing point and, and, and stuff like that. Did you ever take clients to a cigar shop? Of course, right? The glory days. Mm -hmm. You know? So, for sure. Um, let's talk about the commercial side there. So, what, what would be available um, if uh, a, a retail shop owner um, were, were uh, listening to this podcast, as, as I know a bunch of them who actually do? 
uh, you know, j j just take us through some of your stuff. I'm assuming that the models would go like like any other hu uh, humidification device per cubic feet. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just to clarify, though, we're talking about the the Magna uh, model, which started out called the, the 2XL like uh, over 12 years ago. Um, There's one a couple of retailers, but one in particular who suggested that we get into that. There was really nothing. Um, you know, operating at that level of technology that was taking care of cabinets for the retailers. And so we developed um, a Cigar Oasis 2XL, and it's been updated a number of times, most recently uh, the Magna 2.0. Okay. Um, very strong set of fans on that and can take care of any size cabinet, anything from 10 to 60 cubic feet, so even those lockers. Um it operates, you know, a similar concept in the seal design like the XL. So you're never going to have any over humidification. It's got a beautiful clear base that can hold um, as, uh, as an optional up to one gallon, but otherwise 50 ounces of water. You refill it about once every week, two weeks. It's got the gel beads to hold the water in place, pushes out the water. So all the shelves are, are getting an equal distribution of humidity. Uh, option to add auxiliary fans and of course the option for the Wi-Fi price point is great um, I know some retailers are still using the original one um, so it really lasts uh, and we've been replacing so many of these older obsolete uh, commercial humidifiers that have been out there that still work you know with these old dials and you'll get a range of humidity um, as large as 10 12 percent uh, this one, you set it to the exact level, and you're usually within 2% throughout the entire cabinet. Mm -hmm. So what's the life expectancy of, for, for a commercial one? And then, and then I'm going to ask you uh, uh, what the life expectancy is for the, um, for the uh, residential one or the uh, consumer yeah. level. With all of them, the life the lifetime uh, really is about how, how much it's running. But, it, you know, frankly, we've seen units that are still out there working from from the first uh, original production so almost 20 years mm -hmm. it really it's about how often they refill if the unit's running dry for extended periods of time that's a no no affect the life <laughs> yeah right so the main thing we would definitely recommend is only use distilled water um the more you use you know on you know, untreated water uh you're gonna get some of that gunk into the fan into the electronics Definitely don't put in any of the 50-50 solution, just distilled water, and refill it on a consistent basis. You don't have to wait till it's bone dry to refill because, again, the drier it is, the more the fan is running, and the more the, uh, the unit is going to be taking a hit. Mm -hmm. And then definitely about every year or so, replace the cartridge. It only costs about 12 15 bucks, and the, the newer the cartridge, the longer it's going to last. Uh, the more time you get per refill also. So that's great. Mm -hmm. And then as far as the commercial ones, pretty much the same story. So, um, you know, really we see with the retailers, you know, they just, whoever's working there, they have them as a matter of like a, on a weekly basis, just go around to top it off. And that's the best way to make sure that it's going to be running at full capacity. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. You have a question? Just, uh, I'm fascinated by this product and uh, kick myself that I haven't invested uh previous I, I definitely will you've coined the phrase on uh the previous episode uh you know passive passive style uh previous this is absolutely next level stuff if you you value uh the cigars and you really dig it uh you know i happen to have five of the uh desktop at home two to three hundred count and uh for sure you know the passive passive style gets me uh a pain you know constant uh monitoring the numbers are uh, never never as accurate as they can be this this product does you know all the work for you and everything yeah. you need i don't want to go on record and say that it's the best way but it's it's probably the most professional way you could keep your Absolutely. cigars consistent as in if where they were in a commercial humidor right so if you want to you know if you take your cigar collection seriously and you take your humidor in in seriously in your treasures. I love that word, treasures. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's buzzword. I might use that uh, within future episodes. Don't worry. I'll give you full credit every time. <laughs> right. But but you know if if you really want to protect the the treasures and and, and really get into it. Yep. Uh, speaking of getting into it, let's talk about the uh, consumer side. 
What do they retail for? Before we get into that future uh, product you want to talk about, what do they retail for? Uh, so the Ultra and the XL retail at uh, 100 to 120. 120 is the MSRP. Mm-hmm. They sell for as low as 99. Uh, the Plus model uh, sells for 110. Uh, MSRP is 139. And then the big one, uh, Magna, uh, retails at 180. Right, right. So, I mean, you know, if, if you look at what you're going to spend on a box – or what you're going to spend for a thousand count humidor? It's a no brainer. It's a great Or a three hundred count humidor. Oh, yeah. It's it's well in the price range of what it, uh, of of where it needs to be. I, I'm you also uh, I'm also curious what iron. What, what do you actually smoke? What do you uh, give us a day in the life of? Oh, uh, now, you now you get into my questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you like to smoke? Well, you, you didn't get into smoking. it previous, and I'm because you're one of our like biased guests, right? right? <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I'm always smoking something different. I don't really have a set go-to, but I just finished this uh, Hoya Nicaragua Antonio. I think it was a black or something. Uh, it was a new release at the show that I picked up. Um, yeah, it's, well, consistent smokes. Um, this is a Cane, um, Cane Straight F. Lajero, Cane yeah. F. Nice. I just find the consistency That's a of the construction of these cigars to be superb. Um, I've try just about everything out there and so often even with some of the top brands um i'll encounter cigars that are you know plugged here and there they don't draw as well for me that's the biggest deal i just don't want to have to work that hard uh on the draw and um but you know even some great you'll get one or two in a box and i you got to draw poker for that but um i have to say that the olivas but particularly these canes I get the most flawless draw on. So if I'm just want something quick, I'm not going to have to, I know I'm not going to have to mess around. I'll pick up one of these, but I generally like the Nicaraguans. I like fuller bodied. I like stuff that, um, <coughs> are darker mm-hmm. in character. I smoke most of my cigars with coffee and espresso. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll lean on those, uh, that side. But I like the creamy as well. The Milanio, uh, the Royale from Rocky Patel, uh, stuff like that, mm-hmm. you know. That's good. What are some of the challenges that Cigar Oasis faces within the industry? Not so much competition, but but just some of the challenges when you're trying to uh, keep up with new product or features and functions and stuff like that for your next products coming up. Um, the uh, that's a good question, but I, I think the probably the the biggest obstacle is that people. Uh, they don't want to have to think too much. Mm. So they, they go with something that they think is simpler because they don't have to, you know, make too, have too much considerations about what's in, what, what entail. But uh, in the long haul, uh, it's really not as simple, you know, without naming any particular products. But there are ones that have a, a simple appeal mm-hmm. but in the long run and do not serve your cigars as well as they could have when you don't have circulation. Right. Right. And uh, even price-wise, you look at something that is, first of all, either a disposable product, so obviously you're constantly throwing money at that, and you look at the numbers, what you'll end up spending on a year. It doesn't compare to cigar wastage, which can last you 5, 10, 20 years. But even without that, um, just in terms of uh, the consistency of the humidity that you're going to get mm-hmm. with a cigar wastage unit, it does not compare to others that don't have those features. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what I would say, you know, the biggest struggle, if anything. But we we do a good job. These certainly help, these kind of shows. We made some educational videos online. um, And, you know, making sure that the store owners and managers and people who are, you know, facing, uh, interfacing with with the customers, that's the biggest education we have to to make a dent with. So... I'm, I'm sure some store owners are uh, welcome for t- the discussion and other store owners will continue in there. Um, yeah, they'll just continue with their mediocrity right. and then do it there. We have two more things we're going to talk about. Uh, you have a product giveaway, right? Yeah. 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 So uh, we're going to talk about that last. So you still got to listen if you want to get in on the product. 
uh, there. Little and, teaser, nice. And, what? Yeah. Little teaser. Well, <laughs> you know, you got to keep them. You got to keep them. You, 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 you got to keep them riveted. You know, <laughs> you know. Um, and uh, you're gonna uh, show us a, a new product. Right. Yeah. The, the, yeah. So, I, I forgot what it's called. It's called the circular product. <laughs> yeah. I'll yep. get to that in a second. I okay. just wanted to mention before I forget that oh, we also do. are the um, you know the owners of the Western Humidor brand. Um, we partnered with them about six years ago. So they were the original maker of the digital hygrometer for the cigar market. Mm -hmm. um, and their products have always been ranked uh, the best. If you look around on any of the old forums. The caliber digital hygrometers were always known to be the most accurate. So we have the caliber four, which is a great seller. And you probably see it around. Make sure you're getting the real thing, none of those knockoffs. <laughs> but this is worth, uh, you know, all the money. It's a bit more expensive, slightly. No, I shouldn't even say that. But, you know, maybe a couple bucks more than some of those cheaper uh, China products. But you want something accurate. You want to know exactly what your cigars are fearing at. Uh, and this is accurate within 1% and could be recalibrated as well. Uh, reads temperature and humidity. This is the caliber 4. And if you want something with a little more pizzazz, you got the caliber 4R. So it's digital with an analog design. It comes in a gold and silver finish. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the 4R. So those hygrometers are also available. Uh, again, first go to your local retailers. If not, you know, you could. Check it out uh, online from the catalogs. That's the 4R. And the product I wanted to tell you about today, we actually just had them delivered now, and we haven't really started promotion of it yet. This will be the first time I'm talking about it. I like it. It's a small company. <laughs> yeah. They're here first. Um, you hit it here first. <laughs> yeah. Um, you heard about them from uh, a customer of ours who was selling them, and they had some nice appeal, and they were local, and they needed the help with distribution, so we've been talking to them. And this is the Ash Stay. So um, simple enough looking, but it actually functions extremely well. So say um, you're outdoors, you're indoors, you're on your boat, wherever you may be, and you got your, your, your cigars, and your pie may be coming back to it or whatever it is. You're not ready to clean up just yet, and you're starting to get that funky um stale. ash smell in the air the stale <laughs> smell you yep. know so instead of needing to keep that there so i'm done with the cigar i'm just going to pop it back in and then i'll close it so it's called the ash stay it's a windproof beautiful ashtray and you no longer have to worry about the smell very easy to clean whenever you're ready to done you take the top off you dump it it's um dishwasher safe it's burn proof um it's a nice product retails at 30 dollars and um look start looking for it in your local uh retailers because we're going to be we're going to start promoting it and um i don't know however you want to go about this but if you want to um i'm ready to give away three of these so if okay. anyone wants to uh you know, like us on Facebook and send us a message. You want to do first um, three to email you? However we'll you want to do it, do it sir. Yeah. However you want to yeah. do it. The first yeah. The, yeah. the so, first three people to email Hiam will get a um, Ash Day. An Ash Day. Ash yeah. Day. There you go. Ash Day went with, uh, yeah, so, yeah uh, uh, cigar ashtray. And so go the, ahead and, and for the record, us on Facebook. And for the record, you hit it here first. Why don't you give them your email? Good luck, because you're probably yeah. going to get 50 of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can just go ahead and, yeah, you can just send it on Facebook. I'll get that directly. So just go to the Facebook. Oh, Give us a like and a follow, and go ahead and shoot me a message, and I'll be sure to see it on Facebook. And the first three will get one of these. There you go. First three people to go to the Cigar Oasis Facebook. Make sure you like the page. Make sure you share the page, and make sure you... PM or DM them, right? Yep. Um, you either direct message them or private message them. It depends on your age, how you say PM or DM, right? Um, there, in the first three, we'll get that, and you'll, uh, you'll be able to, uh, once you win, email me at joeh at stogiegeeks.com. Take some pictures. We'll share it up on our social media, 
as well to generate the uh, buzz and, and, and show people about uh, the product. I could product. definitely use something like that with the cold weather, smoking. Well, uh, flash them an email. Yeah. Hurry up, right? <laughs> <laughs> smoking the doors in the garage, <laughs> that stale smell trickles into uh, the laundry room. Yeah, especially, this is, uh, this especially, is especially nice outdoors, especially with barbecue season or say you, you're smoking on a seasonal porch. If right. you live in New England, you got winter coming, you know, you want to have a couple puffs and go and do what you got to do. Wind's or kicking up. Do you want the ash all over the place? No, right yeah, there. absolutely. One stop shop. It looks like it's windproof, too. Like you could stick it in and then yeah. close it and stuff like that too. So yeah, once it's closed, it stays like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 a fabulous product. All you got to do is go to Cigar Oasis Facebook page, like them, share them, PM their message to Hiam, and first three will be able to get that. So it's awesome. It's a great gift. It makes a great gift for the holidays. Again, uh, perfect time. Check with your local tobacconist first. Then if not, go to cigaroasis.com. And show them some love, and or you can, you know, you can print the page and leave it for your significant other for Christmas. That's what I'm gonna do. Right. I'm I'm gonna print the page well, then, of the yeah. thing and like put it on the pillow, or, <laughs> or, or I'll, I'll fold it and put it in the lunchbox. How they so, get there? So when they're in lunchboxes, oh, this is. It makes a great gift, you know, for sure. You know, definitely. You have anything else you want to add? No. One other thing, uh, you know, for a social media campaign, if if anyone out there is already using a cigar oasis. Uh, or one of our other products, you want to take a picture and tag Cigar Oasis on Instagram, and then just message me through Instagram that you've done that, and we'll send you something, either a replacement cartridge or a hygrometer or a lighter or something. We've always got stuff to give away. So go ahead and take a picture of your unit running. Just tag Cigar Oasis or Cigar Oasis Turns 20 and send me a message. And we'll take care of you. Awesome, awesome. All right, man, uh, one more question for you. I'm just wondering if there's any other uh, grand-scale partnerships that you guys have in the works, larger cigar companies or anything of the sort. And what else uh, what do you have on the horizon? Uh, there is else? something uh, that's definitely in, in, in the pike. Ah, uh, it will probably be released at this IPCPR, but nothing I'm at liberty to talk about yet. So nope. it's going to be released to IPCPR first? Is we have something that's definitely coming. At the, this coming IPCBR in nice. 2018. Mm. So I have to arrange for an interview while you're at IPCPR 10 minutes before you tell the crowd at IPCPR. Is that, is that, can we work? <laughs> well, we're going to be we, there, so let's, uh, yeah, we'll set yeah, it up. Can, can, can we work out that? Right. <laughs> Absolutely. I want, people to, I want people to hear it here on the Stogie Geek show first, you know. Um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a great podcast, you know, it's a good group of guys. And, and again, I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for the interview, Joe D. Thank you for being here as well. Thank you. Ryan. I want to thank Paul for having Paul and crew for for allowing me to host the show, episode two fifty one. Haim, thank you for your time, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely, absolutely. Care, Stay tuned. We're going to talk about cigar leather cases. Don't go anywhere.